On the intent tonight, we are getting our first look at the crew taking us back to the moon. NASA introduced the crew of Artemis II, uh, four astronauts who will become the first humans in more than 50 years to leave Earth orbit and go around the moon. Uh, the mission will be the next step in NASA's plan to get astronauts on the lunar surface. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says the Artemis program is not just pushing the boundaries of exploration, but inspiring a new generation. The Apollo program 50 years ago did for a generation of engineers and mathematicians and scientists. Walk into any school classroom in America today and look at those little faces as they light up. Uh, particularly if you're wearing a blue suit like this. Well, Artemis 2 will also be a mission of firsts, mainly for the crew, so we want to break down that team for you. First up, we start with a Carolina connection. It is Christina Koch. She will become the first woman to go to the moon. Uh, Koch was born in Michigan, but then grew up in Jacksonville, North Carolina, as she attended NC State, where she received two bachelor's degrees and masters. Impressive. Uh, Koch first went to space in 2019. She was flight engineer on three expeditions aboard the International Space Station. She contributed to hundreds of science experiments in orbit and participated in the first three all-female spacewalks, totaling more than 42 hours. She spent 328 days in space total, and she will serve as mission specialist on Artemis II. So next up, we have Victor Glover. He'll also make some history, becoming the first person of color to go to the moon. The California native served as a naval aviator and a test pilot. Uh, Glover launched to the ISS back in 2020 on SpaceX's Crew Dragon, the first mission for spacecraft after it was certified. Uh, Glover helped grow crops in space, take photos of the Earth, and took part in experiments and four spacewalks. He'll be the pilot on Artemis II. Now, another thing distinguishing this mission from the Apollo era is one crew member is not American. As part of a deal with the Canadian Space Agency, Jeremy Hansen will become the first Canadian to go to the moon. Uh, the fighter pilot has never been to space before, but has been involved with astronaut training projects for years. Hansen was a crew member of NEMO, an underwater lab in Florida run by NASA to train people for these space, space missions. In 2017, Hansen became the first Canadian to lead a NASA astronaut class, putting him in charge of training astronaut candidates. Hansen will serve as mission specialist. Wiseman, a naval aviator and test pilot who will be the commander of the Artemis II mission. The Maryland native was flight engineer on the ISS in 2014, where he helped the crew reach a NASA milestone of 82 hours of research done in just one week. Wiseman has also served as a commander for one of NASA's NEMO missions and the chief of the agency's astronaut office. Artemis II will be a 10-day mission. The crew will take the Orion spacecraft on its first mission with astronauts on board. Uh, that mission will go around the moon before returning back to Earth. And we still have some time for this, though. Artemis II expected to take flight in November of 2024 at the earliest. And if successful, astronauts will land on the moon during Artemis III, which would be in 2025 or 26.